more chill. We're gonna have to cut the light on somehow, some way. All right, guys, we'll give you an opportunity to come on in. It is dark.
are those individuals that I'm speaking with, okay, as it stands right now. So if there is anything that I can answer as it pertains to Dana and the twins, I will. And if I can't, you'll know that I, I can. So let's see what questions we have. I love you too, Chris. God is in control. The mothers will win. I agree. How is Dana? Is she okay? Dana is missing her babies. Dana is missing her babies. So although she is home, this battle was far from over. Dana, in addition to missing her children, in addition to uh, being thrown in jail, she has an impending criminal case for custodial interference, and that hovers over her. But even more so than that is the fact that she is without her children. Ultimately, she went in front of this judge um, last week, and they placed a no-contact order, which essentially was done in order to hinder her from getting custody of her children back. So she has to go through the court process in order to get that lifted and hopefully um, be reunited with her daughters. So Alabama continues to play dirty. They continue to play dirty. Hey, Teresa. Say, let's see, what else do we have there? We will be there, Robin. We look forward to seeing you there from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we're going to go into the neighborhoods as well, too, and let them know exactly what's going on at Strickland Youth Center in Mobile, Alabama. We will also be in for a protest. Um, we've placed permits in, and, and, and let's just see how that works out for Dana's court date, which is um, February 15th as well, too. So prepare for that as well. I really want to come to support. Got to see if I can move a few things around. East, if you want to be there, I'm going to make sure you get there. So reach out to me. Why is she not allowed to see the twins while on bond? Are you allowed to be in contact with the twins? So, Dana's not allowed to see the twins or be in contact with the twins in Georgia because Alabama, just this past week, placed a no contact order on Dana. It was their latest move, their latest move of trickery. So that is why Dana cannot communicate with her twin daughters as it stands right now. Um, I will not go into who can't communicate with the twins, okay? If you can't support it, then keep your mouth closed. I agree. Shut up. Shut up. Let's see. Post dates and time, again, um, you'll be there. Robin will be there this Thursday and Friday, the 1st and the 2nd of February from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Is there being anything done for Jolie? The system failed Jolie. So, Lala, as far as Jolie is concerned, um, I was one of the, the first ones to post as it pertains to Jolie's case. And I kind of stepped back because she started to garner the attention that was needed. My whole goal is to, being a part of Choose Yes, the, 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 the whole goal is to bring awareness to social injustice. I believe that we've done that. I believe that the family has more than done that. Um, as far as Jolie is concerned, as it stands right now, Jolie has not just the police, but the FBI involved in that investigation. So we're watching. In the event that something more is needed, um, the family has our information. Um, we'll, we'll keep in contact. We will keep in contact, okay? Um, what I can tell you as far as Jolie is concerned, there was a reason why they went to that park for that baby. And I do believe that the police and the FBI know a whole lot more than what they're telling the public. So I do believe Jolie's case will be solved relatively quickly. So at this point, no, but we're keeping our eye on that. Keep pushing for greatness, always, always. How many mothers have been hurt by this judge? Please research George. Yes, research George Brown. We're currently working with seven, eight mothers in Mobile, Alabama, who have all had to experience some sort of um, treachery. And, and hardship as it pertains to but we know about dozens of other mothers and if you google judge george brown at strickland youth center in mobile alabama i guarantee you, you will see the kind of treachery that has followed this 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 individual this elected official okay elected i put emphasis on elected because ultimately either our votes or lack thereof place him in the position to do this to these women and I honestly don't believe, and I've said it time and time again, I don't believe that this is a black or a white issue. I do believe that this is a woman issue. Um, I believe wholeheartedly that there is some bias.
bias there. Um, truly, truly, there is. Like, there's no way that, that you could ever take children from a mother who has provided for them their entire lives, from mothers who have provided for their children their entire lives, and not even do at least an investigation as to where you were sending those children, okay? So, um, that this individual did not care. They did not care. And it was not in the best interest of the children. It was not in the best interest of the children. Anybody who has been paying attention or following the story is well aware of that. The facts are out there. It's blatant. It's plain. It's clear. Read. Read. When is Dana coming home? Dana is home. At this point, we're trying to get these babies home. I pray for you and your team. Bigger, better, lessons. Thank you, Vicki. I appreciate that. No contact. Exactly. This is crazy. The devil is um, not a guy in a red suit with horns. He's a judge. Yes. He is a judge. He is several judges. He is um, several elected officials in Mobile, Alabama. It, it, it stems so much further. Um, it, it goes into fire marshals. It goes into uh, judges, lawyers, uh, prosecutors. It goes into um, a whole barrage of individuals that, in all honesty, if we truly sat down and broke down how corrupt this town is, how corrupt these individuals are, you wouldn't even be able to comprehend it. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So I implore you, I urge you to be out there on the 1st and the 2nd of February from 8 to 1 p.m. Um, prepare with your signs, with your voices, and full protest. Um, and as I stated, we will also be going into the communities because we placed them in that position. It's up to us in the community to remove him from that position. The devil is in yeah, okay, okay. My heart is hurt for her. I'll be so happy when she gets her babies back. We all will. We all will. How are the girls? Missing their mom. The girls truly miss their mother. And this has been a very, very painful situation for them. Ultimately, aside from Dana, what, what you all have to understand is we've got two 11-year-old babies who have been stripped from their mother's arm. The only parent who has been consistent and a constant nurturer to them. So, um, I ask you, how do you think they feel? Not good. Not good. I don't like that these stupid people are sending Dana hate mail. People... What is wrong with you? My God, wake up. None of us do. Um, Dana's received so much hate mail for having interracial children. And um, as much as I love my black me, understand that Sheena is a melting ball of culture. Okay? Melting. My mother's last name was Gomez. All right? Um, Caucasian, Hispanic, Indian, African American, and all of the above. Okay, you can love who you choose to love. All right, so that ignorance be gone, <laughs> be gone. Let's see. Still need to share with you. Okay, Betty, feel free to call me. Yes, they sorry putting felonies on Dana. Exactly. Essentially, they're attempting to build a case against Dana because Dana has not kept quiet about this miscarriage of, of, of justice. And let me also be clear on the fact that Dana was fully aware of the risk that she was taking with going public. Her response throughout this entire situation has been, they can do whatever it is that they want to do to me, but I will not remain silent while they tear my children apart. So Dana knew this. Dana was prepared for it. But it did hit her like a ton of bricks. So so at this point, her whole focus is, and I'm going to say again, she's not even concerned with the criminal cases. She's not concerned with the, 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 the mounting of uh, falsified documents and evidence and all this craziness that they have attempted to place on her. Uh, Dana is concerned for the safety and the well-being of her children, as any good mother would be. Okay? Um, if you found yourself in a situation as a mother, as a father, okay? Now, let me also, let me, let me, let me address this too really quick. I recently just had a case come to me and my researchers, Trisha, Deja, Keisha, all of them can tell you. I recently had a case come to me 
that a mother claimed the father had custody of this child whatever the case is the mother claimed that this father's family was abusive to this child and I declined and the reason why I declined was because I felt as though that child was better served in her father's care I am not biased in any way shape or form to these moms because I'm a mother myself understand that I did not take any one of these cases based off of what the mother's accounts were. I took these cases based off of what I knew the facts to be. I took these cases based off of the fact of what was in the best interest for the children. Period. Period. And also understand that there are certain aspects of what is going on that we cannot say. And we will not say. But understand when I say to you, me as a mother, me as a founder of an organization, we stand behind Dana 150%. We stand by Victoria 150%. We stand by Brittany and Misty and Daniela 150% and Natalie 150% and Portia and all the other mothers who have experienced this bias and detrimental ruling that this judge has handed down. We stand behind Kim. We stand behind baby Elliot who was ripped from his mother's arms at three days old and adopted out illegally. We stand by Judge George Brown. We stand by all of these mothers. But most importantly, we stand by these babies who deserve better. Who are ultimately having their lives altered. Their lives altered. Because of the treachery and the deceit that these individuals have within their heart. That's why we're here. So I encourage you all to be there as well too. February 1st. February 2nd from 8 in the morning to 1 p.m. at Strickland Youth Center in Mobile, Alabama. All dates will be posted. All times will be posted. We need court watchers in court. Yes, what you also have to understand is, Chris, that there are some um, court proceedings that are not open to the public. Most family court cases are not open to the public. They are dead wrong. No love like a mother's love. I can tell you um, by my own account. I've got three of my own and two that I have essentially um, taken custody of. Five total. And none of them will ever be in a situation that will harm them. And I don't care who says do what. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So um, if you, as a mother, doesn't understand that, then I feel sorry for your children. If you, as a father... You don't understand what it means to sacrifice for your children. I feel sorry for your children. But my children sleep comfortably at night knowing that their mother would go to the end of the earth for them. Dana's do too. Because even though they are where they are, which is without their mother, they know their mother to the last breath in her is going to fight for them. And if you don't understand that, I feel sorry for the children that you raise. Are the twins with a relative or their dad or in foster care? Understand that there are a number of placements that could happen under um, defects. Um, state of Georgia could retain custody of the children, essentially being their parents. And they could have um, a number of placements. So whether they were with a relative or if they were in a foster home, they are still in foster care. And we will not talk about their placement. What we will say is they are not with their mother, which is where they need to be. You can't be there, but you're sending love and support from North Carolina, and we appreciate that. I'm praying go out to Dana and the girls, justice for Latoria Magsby. Absolutely. Latoria Magsby. Let me be clear on that as well, too. It's another case that we have been working on actively for since December, actually. And um, I want to make this very publicly known. There are a lot of people attacking that mom too. And ultimately, you all need to get your lives in order. You do. You absolutely do. I'll say this. 
when Miss Max came to me and asked me for help. At no point in time throughout this entire process has she asked us as an organization for anything but to help her get justice for her daughter. Okay? Understand that Choose Yes, my organization, will be matching, matching. And no, we're not asking for anything from anybody. We're not collecting anything in anybody's name. We would never do that, okay? But we will be matching as it stands, a reward for the killer of Latoria Magsby. Okay? We will essentially provide thousands of dollars towards the arrest and the conviction of the individual who stabbed that young lady 50 some odd times. Okay? And left her children without... Stay still for a second. Okay. Alright, so we're back. I froze. But just in case you didn't hear something... And feel free to share this video. Victoria Magsby was stabbed over 50 times and left for dead. Um, her killers have yet to be caught. Choose Yes has decided to match the donations of um, other charities, other organizations that we have decided that we would like to partner with in order to get a large or substantial amount um, up for reward for the killer of Latoria Maxby. Um, I'm going to say again, Mrs. Maxby has not asked me for a dime. She has only asked for justice for her daughter. Okay? So this is something that we have been working on since December. And I did not get into it to have any rifts or tribes or anything of the sort with any other organizations. We got into it in order to provide justice for a family that is grieving. And ultimately, because we saw a need, Latoria deserves justice. That's all I have to say about that. And she will receive it. She will receive it. So, as soon as those flyers are ready... And we have the full-fledged commitment of those other organizations that we are working with. We will post the reward amount, but it will be thousands of dollars on the head of the individual who killed her. Her murderer. The arrest and the conviction of the individual who killed Latoria Maxby. And I ask you all to let this mother grieve in peace. Because she deserves that. And understand we talk on a frequent basis. And she is grieving. She is grieving. She has lost her child. Let her grieve in peace. All right, let's see what else. What other questions? Those babies need their mother. I agree. Literally trying to ruin this woman's life. Prayers for Dana and the twins. They are. Um, we stand with her. No weapon formed. I agree. Lord, I'm mad. I want to cuss somebody out. This is crazy. Um, where they do that? In Mobile, Alabama, Issa. That's where they do it. Hey, Ramona. For all of the naysayers, do your research on George Brown. George A. Brown. Judge George Brown. Do your research. There's power in numbers. I'm happy these ladies have you. Um, these are some strong mamas. You got to understand that, too. They're not going down. They're not going down without a fight. They are not going down. I have, okay, Keisha put the address for Strickland Youth Center. I'm going to pin that, and it looks like she also placed the PayPal information for Choose Yes. So if you want to donate to Choose Yes, feel free to do so. We absolutely are um, a nonprofit organization. We have our 501c3, all right, and we send receipts for all donations. So, in the event that you choose to donate, that information is pinned at the bottom. If you're coming to protest on the 1st and the 2nd of February, the address is linked, pinned at the bottom. Strickland Youth Center. Um, it's right there. Okay. Justice for Latoria Magsby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Justice for her. Justice for her babies. Justice for her mother. Hello, Sheena, North Carolina in the house. This is so sad. I agree. Shana, you rock. God is working through you. Keep pushing, Queen. I appreciate you, Miss Barrow. I really do. 
Um, there's a video you need to watch ASAP on YouTube on this case. Um, send it to me, Lewis. I'll look for you in my inbox. I heard he's doing those mothers like that because his own wife left him with his kids a while ago. So he's taking it out on every woman out there. I have also heard that. I've also been told several times that there is a direct correlation to the time that he start ruling carelessly um, against mothers in favor of abusive and um, treacherous fathers. Okay, So understand something. We have not taken every case that has come across our desk as it relates to Strickland Youth Center. I want you all to understand that. Um, we do scout. We do vet. We do research. Understand that. Uh, by the time you all even receive information, we have done our due diligence. Like I stated, Latoria Magsby case, we've been working on since December. Um, we're going into February. Okay? Ultimately, understand understand look back on my page I'm gonna post all these videos up again for you look at Victoria's case he removed a child three years of age two years of this child's life he had absolutely no knowledge of his father his father denied him for two out of three years of his life his father has documented documented and I, I put an emphasis on documented okay because that's proof documented mental illnesses mounting hospital stays so much so that his gun was removed from him by the mobile police okay removed removed from him he is unfit a number of suicide attempts yet this judge saw fit to remove victoria's child from her and place him in the care of a psychopath This is what Dana and her twins are up against. Yet you all attack Dana. And I'm not saying everybody on this live. I'm talking about the naysayers with your ignorance and your foolishness. You attack her for not obeying an order. One that she was never notified of. One that she came back with a motion to vacate the order based off of the lies, based off of the fact that this man did not need to be in care of these children and it was denied. Understand that some individuals who are in a position of power do not deserve to have said positions. Dana's isn't the first case. And unfortunately, unless you all get a clue, it won't be the last. It won't be the last. Every day at Strickland Youth Center, there are more and more children being torn apart. A system that was designed to protect children is tearing them apart. Dana's issue isn't with Georgia. Dana's issue is with where it started. We're all thankful that Georgia stood in the gap to protect these children. Georgia stood up and said something is not right. Yet you have countless individuals who are so ignorant. They don't see that. Because you want something negative to say. But I'm going to say again. Support it if you're going to support it. Don't if you don't. Shut up if you don't. If you support it and you can be there, be there. If you support it and you can share it, share it. Whether you can be there or not. We appreciate you. Dana appreciates you. She loves you all. She appreciates the support. The girls appreciate the support. They need it. They need the support. Let's see. Jamal, it is crazy. It is. How can I help from a distance? I'm willing and I'm ready. Um, we place all the time how to make calls, how to send emails. You can donate. 
uh, we will be in full protest. All of that information is linked to the bottom. There's a number of um, elected officials listed on my page as far as who you can reach out to. Um, Dana and the twins have mounting legal battles. You can donate directly to her GoFundMe. It's on her page. The link is on my page too. There are a number of things that you can do from afar. But if you can be there, we ask you to be there. Team Sheena M. James. God is good all the time. How about Team Right? Don't follow me. Follow God and follow us right. I don't need followers. I need leaders, guys, across the board. So be safe, Shana. You and your team, watch your backs. You are a shero amongst our people. And George Brown hears y'all. And I'm sure he isn't the only one. Please take precautions necessary to watch over you and yours. Always, always, always. And understand something. Protest for me is always the last resort. If I can help it, we won't ever have to do it. But they need to understand that the world is watching. They need to understand that what they're doing will not fall upon deaf ears. They need to understand that if you don't stand up for Dana, and you don't stand up for Victoria, and you don't stand up for Brittany, and you don't stand up for Daniela, you don't stand up for any of them, that you will stand up for these kids. Because essentially, that's what we're doing. These babies deserve a chance at life. Everything that they are currently doing to these children, it's altering their lives. They will never be the same based off of piss poor decisions that were made on their behalf. Now these twins, they're 11 years old. They are so articulate. My babies are articulate. When I say they are articulate, they are articulate. George is the only one that ever asked them what it was that they wanted. Alabama never did. Alabama hasn't asked any of these children what they truly wanted. Listen to the babies. Out of the mouths of babes, they'll tell you. They will tell you. And they will tell you why. Listen. Listen says I'm just shaking my head so sad I'll keep my prayers up I appreciate that continue to pray says I was a victim all right guys I'm gonna give you all an opportunity to come back in um my phone died so I had to confiscate my sons let me see whether or not I can answer any questions that you all placed on there that I didn't get to Please share this as you come in. Hey, Janelle, I'm back. I'm going to let it build up real quick. Let me see what comments we have because I missed a lot of them. Or you can ask again. If I didn't answer your question, feel free to ask again. Topic is Dana Williams and her twin daughters. We will be in full protest in Mobile, Alabama at the Strickland Youth Center this Thursday and Friday. For those of you who can be there, please do be there. Since I was a victim. I'm trying to see. And let me pin this at the bottom here too. Pin. Tanisha, it is a lot going on. I love you wholeheartedly. I will call you, though. <laughs> okay. Shana, I'm so happy you are helping all the moms. I'm praying every day for all of them. Thank you. And um, we're going to continue fighting. This is definitely not one of those situations that it's going to be rectified overnight. That would be the ideal situation. The ideal situation would be if Mobile, Alabama said, you know what? We screwed up. We screwed up. And did what was necessary in order to rectify their wrongs. But at this point, they're attempting to cover up their screw-ups, okay? By continuing to attempt to um, defame this mother, to drag her through the dirt, you know, um, in, in, enslave her, essentially, jail her uh, for 28 days for 
protecting her children, for protecting her children. Dana is truly a warrior. She is truly, truly, truly a warrior. And um, I can't, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine as a mother, as a woman, having to go through half of this. So what would be great? Let me say that would be great, but we know that it's not going to happen. It's sad. Oh, it's not. It's not going to happen. Dana, she does not. Yeah, Dana does not get to talk to the girls because Alabama placed last week a no contact order on Dana with her children. Right? In a perfect world, they would admit fault. Exactly. But at this point, that's okay. They don't have to admit fault because once all of this is all said and done, I encourage every last one of these mothers to come together and file a class action lawsuit. And that's just my, my thought process because, um, Mobile would be bankrupt dealing with me and mine, for sure. Let me see. May God bless all who will be standing with Dana and all the mothers. Yes, all the mothers. All of them. <sighs> well, let's see, guys. So you all have any more questions as it pertains to Dana and the twins? Um, if I can answer anything as it pertains to Latoria Magsby, if I can answer anything as it pertains to any of the other cases, I will do so as well. Keisha, I'm trying to pin your comment. It's not working. So resend it and I'll pin it. Are the girls still in GA? They are. said I would go to hell and back for my girls so keep doing great things absolutely I would too Yolanda I would too I would too I would fight the devil for mine and essentially that's what we doing we fighting the devil praying for justice Alabama system really is jacked up it absolutely is it absolutely is and how ironic that Where's the birth of the, the, the civil rights movement, guys? Did you all not think about that? Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King, his birthday just passed. The birth of the civil rights movement, Alabama. Years after the fact, we are still fighting the very same corrupt system. Very same. You think that we're far ahead, but we really aren't that far at all. We're not that far. The same corrupt system, one that was never truly designed for us anyway. Um, ultimately, it was designed to tear us apart. And this is essentially what it's doing. And uh, we, as a people, I'm not saying all. I'm definitely not saying all. But we have some real ignorant tendencies as a people that... Your focus would be on bashing the mother for fighting her children, or your focus would be on bashing the mother for loving who she chose to love. Um, nobody deserves what Dana or any of these moms has gone through. No one deserves, even my worst enemy does not deserve what these children have had to endure. And I think that if you have those kind of views, that you are um, you're a sad individual. And we can't do nothing but pray for you. I don't even know if that's going to work, but you need help. You definitely do. <sighs> what about Misty and her daughter? Misty is another mom that we are fighting for. Essentially, Misty is very well off. Okay? Um, Misty has it together. That judge in Misty's case basically stated, George Brown, that he couldn't find her unfit, but believed the daughter was better served being with her father. <laughs> better served being with her father, whereas opposed to her mother, who she has, as a young lady, been raised by her entire life. What would be the purpose of removing her from her mom's care if you could not find her unfit? Can you all see a purpose? Other than the fact that he's biased? I don't see a purpose. 
mom was more financially well off, better educated, provided better care for the child. Teachers had stated that she was the only one who ever showed up to the school. Took her to every single doctor's appointment. <laughs> Everything. Yet, you couldn't find her unfit because we know she wasn't. But she was better served being in the father's care. Bias. And this is what I'm saying. is so many individuals. So many individuals who speak without knowing. Do your research. Do your research. It says, do the dad still got the girls? The father never had the girls. Shana, does Dana have an attorney at this time handling her case? Dana has... A couple attorneys as it stands right now I can't pin so Keisha just keep posting I have no idea um, I'm with my sister Yolanda on that one you're doing an amazing job well thank you I appreciate you guys you know these moms are doing an amazing job these moms are um, I'm gonna say again we sat down before all of this and I told Dana I was like look <sighs> You know, if you go on this live, that these people are going to come for you. You know, maybe you might not want to do that. And Dana's direct response was, um, they can do whatever it is that they want to do to me. But she will not sit idly by while they continue to tear her children apart. So these moms are amazing. Because ultimately, they, they are at the forefront of this. This judge can't do anything to me. I'm not scared of them. See my shirt? What does it say? Nah. Rosa Parks. Nah. Nah, fam. You can't do nothing to me, George Brown. <laughs> so, so I'm not concerned. Ultimately, these moms are making an ultimate sacrifice for their children because it's wrong. It's wrong. And ultimately, it is up to us to support them while they do so. Says, I have not heard anything about Latoria. What is the status of her case? Status of her case is we're working with the detectives and we're working with other organizations to come up with the reward. Um, and us, ourselves, Choose Yes, will also be donating a substantial amount to um, any individuals who come forward with any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of her killers. Okay? Um, I'm a firm believer that based off of the conversations that we have had with the detectives there, that they have more than enough to capture, arrest, and convict the individual or individuals who are responsible for Latoria's death. Okay? Um, I think at this point the encouragement needs to be placed on the community to do what is right, which has come forward. And um, ultimately, we're putting a reward on that head. So, I don't know anybody who is going to let you continue to walk free, knowing that they could get five or $10,000 for turning your ratchet, sorry self in. So, the individual who did this to this young lady, who stripped this young woman of her life, who stripped these children, these children, of having a mother your days are numbered they're numbered they are numbered and that's how I believe that we as an organization can best serve so we also provide support to Miss Magsby and I'll say again not monetarily Miss Magsby has not asked for a dime um, and monetarily means money for some of those individuals who are slow. She's not asked us for any funds, period. Ms. Magsby came to us and asked us to help her provide justice for her baby. It's her only goal throughout this entire situation. Her only goal. So let that mom grieve in peace. She has a lot to work through while she's also raising her, her grandbabies. Because they're without a mom. As it stands right now. These children have a lot of healing to do. Let her grieve in peace. And I'm not coming for any one person. But please don't come for me. 
because I will come if, an, if, if called. I'll answer. Believe it. Don't come for Miss Magsby. We'll come if called. Believe it. Thanks so much. I would do anything in this world to get justice for my daughter. We know it, Miss Magsby. And um, understand anybody who has anything negative to say about you is because their heart is wicked. Their heart is wicked. Because that's how they're set up. So don't internalize that. Focus on the goal. And that's justice for your baby. Focus on the goal. And that's healing as much as you possibly can from this hurt. I can't even imagine being in your situation. I can't. And I'm sorry that you've had to endure any negativity throughout this process. And I'm going to say again, don't none of y'all want no smoke. Believe it. Judge Brown did my goddaughter the same way, who also has a biracial child. LaVita, we know. Biracial children seem to be the majority in this situation as well, too. Although there are there are other children who are not of mixed race. Okay? Um, so we believe it's it's not just a race thing, but it's a woman thing as well, too. Miss Magsby, I'm praying for you also. Yeah, we're all praying for her. Says, I'm a formal resident of Mobile and a current resident of Georgia. They are known for violating uh, violations in all courts there. We are aware. We are aware. And throughout this process, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> it has made me see that uh, law school is definitely in the immediate future for myself because um, they hear me when I talk, but I look forward to being in the courtroom, getting them together. So that's next. Believe it. Believe it. Says, it's crazy. It is. They, man, do the girls feel safe as a mom? I can't imagine what the girls and Dana are going through in my heart is broken. <sighs> the girls are okay. The girls in no way, shape, or form feel as safe as they would feel being back in their beds in the care of their mother so that is just what it is um, ultimately we're not pleased with any placement that is not with Dana Williams because that is where they rightfully belong those girls need to be with their mother and we are appreciative of everything that Georgia is doing as it stands to keep these babies safe but ultimately, the end goal is these children need to be home. So right now, the focus is Alabama. But we're going to come back to the rest of it. That's how you know it's the devil. Yes, 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 yes. Nothing but. Nothing but. I'm not afraid of him either, though. I know the devil is real. But so is God. And baby, I'm a fighter. Miss Bagsby, you will get justice for your baby. She absolutely will. Not sure if my question went through after the first video cut off. Are the girls able to talk to this judge on why he is doing this? This judge is going to hell for what he is doing to these families. I'm praying for those girls and all kids affected. The judge has not asked these children what they want. The judge in Alabama has not asked his children what they want whatsoever. Things played out a little bit different in Georgia. And that was a blessing. Alabama is not concerned what's in the best interest for the children. Understand that this is also a money game. Understand that this is also a money game. Everybody in there gets paid. Okay? The guardians, um, the facts, all these individuals get paid. It's a money game. The the lawyers, the own retainer, you know, um, they acting like they fighting and they really just running the clock. They all went to school together, know each other, probably do 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 golf together and everything else. It is such a corrupt little place. And I'm not saying all of them are, but I'm saying I got more than a few that I can identify as corrupt. 
says no one should ever go through something like this with their kids I would fight every day of my life and that's exactly what these moms are doing so again we will be at the Strickland Youth Center this Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in full protest if you can be there please be there okay um, any and all support that you all can provide to these mothers and these children is greatly appreciated Miss Magsby, I'm praying that you get justice for your daughter. Justice for Latoria. Across the board. Good evening. Have a blessed day. Love you. Bonda, don't know you, but I love you too. He hates females for sure. Yes. That's evident by his rulings. He despises women. Is it the same judge? Yes. Every case that I've discussed as it pertains to Mobile, Alabama, are all under Judge George Brown. Now, let me also say this. When I state that he does not have the jurisdiction, I posted and I will post again uh, the fact that the appellate court stated that he is not supposed to be ruling over family court cases um, of children that are not born to a marriage. These are all children who were, they were not married to their fathers. He is not supposed to be ruling over these cases so so i know that a lot of people get that misconstrued with dana was in georgia no prior to dana even going to georgia he is not supposed to be ruling in these family court cases yet they continue to allow him to do so can you maybe contact uh gloria r Hayde and help bring national attention to this corrupt judge in the state of alabama judicial system this would definitely put him in the spotlight and his superiors maybe um just throw him under the bus wanda we're actually headed to la um after all of this to have that very discussion mm -hmm. yes ma'am um that makes no sense Racism is the worst. It absolutely is. Sexism is the worst. Racism is the worst. Um, a number of things. Like, I believe that there would be, the world would be so much better served if we could just, like, you know, throw all of these racist and biased individuals on a boat and just blow them up. But we can't do that. So, as it stands right now, um, we have to be vocal. We got to stand up against it. And that's just what it is. And Keisha continues to post the address to the Strickland Youth Center. And um, please do meet us there February 1st and the 2nd, which is Thursday and Friday. We will be there from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we will also be going into the neighborhoods. Hey, I feel like I've missed so much. Um, I know the drill. I'll go back later and catch what I missed. There was a sec there was a first video. So this is the second one, Gail. Make sure you catch the first one, too. Do they have any idea who, kill her, uh, who killed her? Um, we do have some thought processes. We do, okay? I understand that there are certain aspects of Latoria's case that um, cannot be released to the public for fear of impeding upon the investigation. So we tread lightly on that. But know that the conversations and so forth that we've had with you know um, the detectives and everything else, we feel very confident that they have. Now, I'm not saying that they will. I'm saying that they have everything that they need in order to solve this case. So, what I'm saying to you is, at this point, I believe that we can best serve this family by providing a reward for the individual who, who killed her. Because the community knows. The community knows. And, I mean, we do too. But, but knowing and proving are two totally different things. So, we need to make sure that... Um, we have those individuals who have that initiative to step up. Because even if it's a situation that you're scared to step up because you feel like you need to leave, live there. No, you don't. We'll help you get out. We'll help you get out. Okay? So so don't let, don't let your living situation or whatever the case is or, you know, fear stop you from doing the right thing. Okay? What's happening with the Kanika case? Don't hear much about it anymore. I'm not sure. I do know Lamont was out there, so you might want to follow Lamont Record. Um, I do know that he was out there working on it. I know that Charles is still working on it. So um, that's where you would need to go for that. Sharon, Granny, Chicago. I appreciate you. 
She is a wonderful woman. Yes, she is. I didn't get a notification. Don't know why that is. Make sure you follow my page so that you can be notified when I'm live. When I'm live. Um, not familiar with what happened. I don't know which case you're talking about, which you're not familiar with. Thanks so much. Praying for Miss Magsby as well. People are so uh -huh. evil. We love you, Miss Magsby. Sheena, yes. Um, yeah, Sheena will come for you. No mother should ever have to deal with this poor mother and kids are going through none. No one should. No one should. What happened to Lewis? Wasn't he on this case? I'm so glad that a woman like you are standing up for women and children with injustice. I don't know. I don't really uh, follow anybody else's. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. I don't follow any other groups. Don't have time to. I'm so busy being focused on the work that God has set before me to do that I'm not worried about who's doing what. Um, I typically find out about things that happen after the fact. You know, somebody will come to me and say whatever. So I have no idea. But what I can tell you is at this point in time, we are helping. Okay? And this is what it is. Um, and I don't care who doing what. We over here doing what we need to do. In decency and in order. So, there you go. Yeah, it's so sad, Miss Bagsby. Blessing to you. Hold your head up. I'm keeping you in my prayers. We support you, Teresa Magsby. Absolutely. Say it, Shana. I love the work you're doing. Thank you so much, LaShawn. I'm sorry I missed if you answered my question. Do the twins feel safe? I did answer your question, so go back. The twins will never feel as safe um, as they felt being in their mother's care. So that is the goal. We need to get them back home. So although the twins are okay, okay, um, they will never be 100% until they can go home with their mom. All right. Says, uh, where are the twins? Um, cannot discuss the placement of the twins. I'll just say that they're safe. Family law education is needed nowadays. Girl, family and criminal across the board, civil, because these people are crazy. These people are crazy. Um, amen. Absolutely. They belong with Dana. I completely agree. Thanks for helping these beautiful moms. Not a problem. <sighs> Sandra already answered your question. Uh, prayer for her and for the kids. Amen. Did you get my donation the other day? I don't know. I've been so busy. But I will look. And I'm going to post in the group who I received from. And, um, of course, I'll be sending out receipts for any donations that... Um, I've received over the last um, week or so. I think that's like where we left off with, you know, sending um, receipts. So, Babs, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm almost certain we did, though, okay? Uh, devil, get under our feet. Yes. We're going to stomp your head out. We good. We don't need none of your, your, your drama, period. Devils, plural. Uh, how can anyone sit on social media and attack a mother that has lost... Yep, her child at the hands of the evil person. This is walking the streets. Pray you never have to experience her broken heart. Deja, I agree. Leave Miss Magsby alone. You buffoons. <laughs> Leave Dana alone. You buffoons. Leave these mothers alone. You idiots. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. So we were definitely not afraid of the devil. I think he has a restraining order out on me. Let's take him down and out. Let's do it. Let us let let's do it. Any form of proceedings to get him off of the bench? Yes, Kim. And there are a number of filings that have already taken place behind the scenes that we will not even speak of on a public forum. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, filings to get him off the bench, filings to throw him in jail, filings mm -hmm. across the board. He needs to go down. It is illegal what he is doing. So yes, there are Kim. Yes. <clears throat> God is good. The kids, twins, uh, their whereabouts will not and should not be revealed. So please stop asking exactly. We will not discuss. I will not discuss um, where the twins are. We know where they are. We will not discuss where they are. Okay. Money is the root of all evil. It absolutely is. Deja, uh, because a lot of times people speak and act on things they know nothing about exactly. And that's called an idiot. <laughs> speak without knowing, that makes you a buffoon. So, you know, leave these mothers alone. Let them let them do what they need to do. They're going through enough. Leave them alone. 
Um, it's called home cooking. I've heard that more than a few times, Robin. I think all from you. So I'm going Robin, inbox me and school me on home cooking, okay? Because, you know, I'm a northern girl by heart. I'm in Georgia, but, you know, I'm a northern girl, okay? So I don't know what home cooking means. Says, um, at what age can a child go before a judge? Um, in a lot of cases, when a child is able to comprehend um, what the proceedings mean, then they can go before a judge. Legally, I think written into law, it says something about 14. But when you have children who are completely articulate, see, this is the thing. When you go before these court proceedings and so forth, um, even though the law states 14, whatever the case is, and, and that might differ from state to state, court to court, whatever the case is. But even though that's the case, when you go into these family court proceedings, everybody in there is represented by attorney. So mom has an attorney, dad has an attorney, the children have an attorney. So at all points in time, the children are supposed to have a say and have somebody who is fighting for what is in best interest of them, okay? But what we find is happening is the attorneys are all in cahoots with the judge, okay? So they're all friends, socialized, whatever the case is. And what does not happen is the children don't get a voice in the situation. Um, it's crazy. I've been told the judge, George Brown's uh, wife, is over the child support uh, aspect of it. Like, this is some, some straight, small-town trashy bs going on and that's just what it is like everybody is is in bed in cahoots with one another and ultimately who suffers is the children so i can tell you that these children were not asked and their best interest was not well represented in any of these court proceedings it was not it was not um anytime you remove kids from and, and i'm speaking as a whole okay anytime you remove children from a mother and mothers plural okay mothers that have not done anything to harm these children and place them in a situation with individuals who have documented abuse suicidal issues mental health issues not just the mothers but the children and everything else okay how can you ever say that you are working in the best interest of the children? It's absurd. It's absurd. It is absurd. Absurd. So may God shower down blessings on behalf of the twins. We pray. We pray. I support. Betty, we appreciate you. Hey, Angelica. How are you? What's going on with it? Okay. I didn't already answer that. Uh, most of them are corrupt. I agree. I pray for Dana and the girls. Hold on. That's Dana right there. Hold on. Text her. Tell her I'm live. I'm going to call her after the fact. Tell her to chime in. Um, is the judge married? Yes. His wife is over child support, supposedly. They're old enough to speak, and the judge is going to help. <laughs> I don't have a heaven or a hell to put them in, but it, um, if I had to to have an educated guess, I would say he probably will be going to hell, okay? <laughs> he does have mental issues. Now, that I can speak on. I have known a number of people <laughs> with mental health issues. I actually did psych nurse them for a while. Yeah, he's sick. See what that is. Says the whole thing is just so unbelievably uh, terrible. The evil judge has traumatized children forever and ever. This goes back years, years and years and years, years and years. Okay. Um, <sighs> damage his decisions, caused mind boggling. What about his wife, who all with the child support court? Yeah, I said that the wife is with child support. Um, are we sharing this video? Share the video, guys. I wish I could be there. I'm thinking about that 17 hour drive. Naima, it's going to be worth your while. Come on, girl. Come on. Pack it up. I need you there. Come on down. And if you can't make it on the first and the second, the plan is to be outside of Governor's Plaza in Mobile, Alabama on the 15th with this um, 
Dana says she ready to protest. <laughs> tell tell her, text her, say, calm down, killer. <laughs> tell her we going, we coming. <laughs> um, so, um, if you can't make it on the first or the second, I really, really want you guys there on the first and the second, but plan to be back on the 15th, guys, because Dana's going to need this very same support outside of that uh, criminal hearing, uh, just for protecting her children, for protecting the children. She is facing two counts of, of um, custodial interference. So she fights to the fullest. It's sad money has to be put up just for someone to talk. I hope to God someone will help her and her family get justice. Is anyone working with the family to find justice for Jolie? I answered that on the last video. Um, the FBI is involved in that. Understand something. They didn't just randomly go back to... They didn't just randomly go back to that park to find that girl there. They went there based off of a tip, okay? FBI is involved, all that other good stuff. My thought process is they have what they need in order to solve that, okay? Um, Jolie, our goal is to, yes, is to bring awareness to social injustice. We have done that. Um, not just us, that family's done an amazing job about throwing that information and so forth out there. We were one of the first ones to share it and so forth and so on. Honestly, at this point, um, I move me in decency and in, in order, okay? So when I say that, that I move in decency and in order, um, the family needs to ask me for help. In the event that they need help, I am more than help, happy, more than happy to provide help to them. Um, they have my information. I've been in communication. And um, I don't act outside of what the family wants, ultimately but let me also say this um family has not asked for any outside help as it stands right now the fbi has stepped in that is a good move they have everything that they need to track and trace and do what's necessary and understand that they searched that park a number of times there is a reason why they searched that park a number of times someone told them to okay so I believe Jolie's case will be solved. But in the event that as time goes on, if it is not, we're here. And family is more than aware of that. Okay? So um, my thought process is this. You all know about Jolie. What about the millions of children out here who do not get that kind of attention? Okay? I am not here to solve any cases. I can't do that. I'm not a detective. I never proclaimed to be. Um, <laughs> I'm not Shaggy and Scooby. We, we not jinkies and who did it or whatever the case is. We are here to bring awareness to social injustice. We've done that. We move on. But if that family needs any more support, we are more than happy to provide that support. Ultimately, my goal is to put pressure on the individuals who are responsible for solving cases to make sure those cases are solved. So, right now, they got the FBI, they got Fairfax Police, and the whole world watching. What more can any organization do to solve her case? I mean, out, outside of, you know, unless these organizations got some private eyes or something, like, you know, I, you know, I don't know. But that's not me, okay? I'm not Sherlock Holmes. I don't proclaim to be. But if they need help, we here, okay? <sighs> says um, we have to fight with Dana and the twins but I'm sure this is a battle that will win I agree I agree they'll win it but this is a battle that and with you all this is not going to come overnight unfortunately this is something that is going to drag out for some time my hope and my prayer is that while they're going through the processes that they at least lift this no contact and allow these babies to go home with their mother. That would be another win. That would be another win. Dana's out. That was a win. We need another win. We need these babies home with their mama. That's their rightful place. And that's just what it is. That is where they're most comfortable. That is where they're most comfortable with their mother. And that's rightfully so. That is who was raised in their entire lives. There's been no flakiness, um, no reason for them to feel insecure with their mother's love or care. She has been consistent. And I'm going to say again, one thing that those babies are adamant about, they know until their mother's dying day, Dana is going to be fighting for her children. 
Since Keisha Thomas in New Orleans might be able to get some attention for all of this too, she's a young woman from Detroit who became famous for a iconic photo showing her stepping protesters from beating the Nazi white supremacist. Okay. All right. So let me say this. We're also willing to work with any organizations that um, want to be of support to Dana's case that are not fraudulent, that hands are clean and their hearts are pure. So ultimately, Keisha, whoever else, if it, whoever wants to show up and be of support, do that. Do that. But if you don't mean well about his family, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Yes, Shana. Don't stop fighting for the people that need justice. I won't. I promise you I won't. Broadcast interrupted again. I'm back. We good. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, okay. She's working out of Houston now. Okay. All right. Um, this is really taking a toll on Dana. She looks stressed. Dana is stressed. She wants her children home. Rightfully so. She wants her baby's home. She wants her baby's home. She wants all this behind her. Rightfully so. You tired? Yes. <laughs> My son is tired. He had to pick me up from the airport, child. You want to say hi? <laughs> want to say hi, Justin? A lot. I be having to keep them girls off my boy. <laughs> <laughs> be having to keep them up off my boy. Back up off my boy now. Let me see. I only got one of those. I got a few girls to spare. I only got one of those. So you truly are a blessed woman. I love um, you. Do continue to do it. And God continue to bless you and your family. God, got everyone covered. Be blessed, my sister. Thank you so much, Laverne. I appreciate your support. Okay, okay. All right, guys, it looks like, wow, this makes me so sad, so mad, home cooking. Okay, I keep freezing. We'll watch later. Someone said, look at parentalrights.org, so please do. We will. All right, guys, I cannot, I mean, I guess we could do this all night. Unfortunately, it never is the best interest of children. Um, it's about money for the attorneys in the court system. Maria, it is. It's always about money for the courts and the attorneys and um it's unfortunate because you know when do we start putting people first and not the dollar sign world will be so much of <laughs> the world will be so much of a better place we would be so much better served if we put people first and money second or last or whatever the case or just out of the forefront you know i'm a firm believer that ultimately when you do right um everything else has a way of falling into place so you know I agree, and it is a money system, and it's sad, and, and these people are morally corrupt and bankrupt, and that's the craziest thing. Padding your pockets, but you're morally corrupt, and you're morally bankrupt, and at the end of the day, um, how do you sleep? How do you sleep? Shame on the system. Let me say a little following this story for some time now. Um, I pray for justice for Dana in this woman i told my fiance for my birthday gift i want to come to protest one of the days yes yeah, shivana we want to see you there we want to see you there mines keep freezing as well okay guys everybody is saying i am freezing so at this point i am going to pull out of this look at them look jennifer said hey justin <laughs> hello y'all got my baby's name all on here and everything else they gonna come for him too oh man but no, when you coming for mine. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you better not come for mine. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. It's pause, I'm telling you. Let me see. Justin, do I play about my children? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right, guys. You all have a good night. February 1st and 2nd, which is this Thursday and Friday, we are in Mobile, Alabama at the Strickland Youth Center. We will be placing um, on my page, Keisha has put it in here more than a few times, the address to Strickland Youth Center. Um, we will be there from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. After the fact, we'll be going into the community, um, you know, making sure that they're fully aware of what's going on in their backyard. Because I'm going to say again, we need the support of the community in order to make sure um, what needs to happen happens and and I want to say this <clears throat> it does not matter to me whether or not it takes five days five months five years 
we will continue to come back until Judge George Brown is off that bench because he does not deserve to be there. He is, without a doubt, in my opinion, abusive in his role as a judge, okay? Um, those kind of individuals need not be elected public officials, and I need to remind you all of this. We placed him there. Whether it was our votes that placed him there or our lack thereof, it is the people who placed him there, and it is the people who need to remove him. Need I remind you that when these officials are in a position we elect them to be there. They are public servants. And when they are no longer serving the best interests of the public, it is time to remove them. This is a telltale case of what happens when people let power and authority go to their head. This is a telltale case of what happens when we as a people stop paying attention to who is on that ballot or we don't show up. So I implore you, I, I force you, I push upon you, I stress to you, know who these people are. Know who your elected officials are. Know when they're up for re-election. If they're not serving the best interest of you and your community, get them out. Judge George Brown is one of so many that need to go, and he will go. He's not going to get another term. I do believe he'll be gone long before that term has exhausted, okay? But I, I, I urge you, I encourage you, I'm just telling you, please know who's on that ballot. Please know who's in these positions and know what you need to do to get them up out of there. Know what you need to do to get them up out of there. Do your research. Do your research. I'm telling you. Do your research. Do your research. Guys, February 1st and 2nd, Strickland Youth Center, Mobile, Alabama. I am going to be doing more public lives. Let me be honest with you. I don't even like public lives. I always go live in my group because I don't mind having conversations strictly with those individuals who are truly about the work. Um, but ultimately, these families need your support. They need your support. And um, be there. Be there. February 1st and 2nd, Strickland Youth Center, Mobile, Alabama. We will be there from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I look forward to seeing you all there as well. Alrighty. Good night.